Hi, and welcome to a brand new video. I noticed that on my previous video, which talked about how to upload an image into Firebase Storage and React Native, had a lot of requests in the comments about how to actually take this image. So in this video, I want to honor all those requests and I've created a video on how to access images from Firebase Storage using React Native. Surprisingly, this is actually fairly easy, especially if you already got your Firebase Storage set up, your Firebase config, as you can see here. And if you don't know how to do this, please check out that previous video. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna start directly from the code. So if you kind of go ahead and notice in my Firebase storage, I already have an image, which is just my YouTube logo. And if you go over to the rules, I've just made it public for now. If you want to make it private, then um, go ahead and like work that out on your own. But I'm not really using this for any projects other than just this tutorial video. So I'm fine if it's public. So if you go over into your code, I don't have anything running, which is why this app is blank, by the way. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to set a global variable using use state. And this global variable is what's going to be containing the link to the image. Essentially, what we're doing is that we're going to access this image and get a link to this image. And um, Images in React Native has the amazing capability of accessing images from a URL. So if we get the URL of this image in Firebase Storage, then we can just pass that into an image. So that is what this variable is going to be containing. And then obviously, um, we're going to use the use effect in order to get the URL. And then we're inside this image, we're going to have a source and we're just going to say that the URI, oh, whoops, double brackets, is going to be equal to the URL. So basically, right now it is undefined, but once we set a value to it inside the use effect, we want the image to display the image at that URL. In uh, the first step is to declare the storage. We already imported get storage. And in order to use that, you say const storage is equal to get storage. The next step is to establish a reference between your image and the storage. If you watched that previous video, you probably know that lots of these steps are already probably familiar to you. We create a reference, and I'm just going to name it reference so that um, my code doesn't get confused with the ref that I imported. The first parameter is storage and the next parameter is the name of the image you want to access. So in my scenario, this is the wiz.png. So I'll just copy that over and slash put that in. So reference is basically getting an image. It's like a reference to an image that you want to access. But you can't just like say, set URL to reference. No, that's not how this works if you spell it properly. Uh, you, uh, we have like a reference. A reference isn't a URL. We need to convert this reference into a URL. And luckily, it is actually extremely easy. You just use this get download URL function. So we're going to do get. Uh, we're going to do await. So make sure that your function's in async. Get download URL. And you need to pass in a few parameters. By few, I mean, frankly, just one. The reference. So it needs to know what it's downloading. <laughs> and then after this function's done, you want to do a then. This basically just gets the result from this function. So this function converts the reference into a download URL. And then you want to take that URL and you want to set that global variable to x. So set URL to x. So if we run this function, uh, let's just go over here and run an Android simulator. I think that'll just be a lot easier than us having to do it manually. 
Uh -huh. And let me just refresh this because that was when I was testing my code to make sure it works. So you can see that this works. We were able to access a uh, image and display on the screen. If you want to make sure that this isn't like constantly refreshing, you can also say like if URL is equal to undefined, then run the function so that doesn't run it multiple times, but your code will still be able to work. I hope this video was helpful and made the process of getting images from Firebase storage inside React Native just a lot more easier. See you in the next video.